This year has already seen huge success for Team Godolphin on the race course, but last weekend was one of the best yet, with no fewer than three runners victorious at Group 1 level. This brings the total number of Group 1 winners in 2018 to 19, making it officially the most successful ever, with still plenty of chances to add more. A real highlight was the Charlie Appleby trained Quarto, who kept his clean sheet intact in great style at the Curra, winning the Group 1 National Stakes. He continues to follow in his great side Dabawi's footsteps, as he also won this race, incidentally in a time just one hundredth of a second faster than Quarto. Quarto is now rated as the best juvenile in Europe, and his new rating also confirms his position as one of the best winners of the National Stakes in the last 18 years. Up towards the finish, it's Quarto! Earlier on Sunday afternoon, Dabawi's daughter Kite Surf added a first Group 1 victory to her record, sweeping from last to first to win the Prix May at Longchamp. She became the third consecutive winner of the race for Dabawi, following left hand in 2016 and Batille last year. Sunday was, even by his own high standards, a sensational day for Dabawi, who also sired Group 2 Preniel winner Brundtland, plus German listed winner Luna Maria. Lapaloza completed Sunday's Group 1 hat-trick, landing the Natalma stakes at Woodbine. She could now be aimed at the Breeders' Cup, where she's already guaranteed a place in the Group 1 Juvenile Phillies turf. It was also a successful weekend in Australia, with group wins for Lonro Sun Encryption, the Melbourne Cup-bound Avilius and Arameo. Encryption has got up to beat the Rondor. Team Godolphin notched eight black-type winners from Friday to Sunday, while the Dali Stallions were responsible for no fewer than 17, including Street Cry's incomparable daughter Winks, who added an astounding 20th Group 1 win and 27th straight victory to her record in the George Main Stakes. Winks moves up on the outside, takes the lead, kicks away, here's three in a row, it's her birthday and what a way to celebrate, long live the Queen! The main action switches next to Melbourne, with a strong hand for the local team and Saeed Bin Saror and Charlie Appleby. James Doyle will head to Australia this week to join forces once again with Jungle Cat, who he rode to victory in the Group 1 Al Quaz Sprint on Dubai World Cup night, plus Folkswood. Off the race course, the finalists for the Thoroughbred Industry Employee Awards were announced in the US last week. Nominations are also currently open for the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards in the UK. Meanwhile, this year's Massar Godolphin trainees will soon graduate, with applications now open for the next group of young UAE nationals who wish to become ambassadors of horse racing and Godolphin.